Number 42, integrated concepts. Assume that mostly infrared radiation from a heat lamp acts as a continuous wave with a wavelength of 1.5 micrometers. Letter A, if the lamp's 200 watt output is focused on a person's shoulder over a circular area of 25 centimeters in diameter, what is the intensity in watts per uh, square meter? So a um, couple of assumptions that are going to be made in t inside of this problem. Um, when they say they wanna know the intensity, right, in watts per meter, uh, that is, I guess, hitting the person's shoulder. So I think they said a circular area, right? So that means that the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared, okay? And uh, we want to find intensity, right? So intensity is simply the power divided by the area over which that power is applied. So the power they told us is going to be 200 watts. That's what the power is. And the power then is distributed over the area of the shoulder of pi times the radius. Now they told you the diameter, but we need that in terms of the radius. So that's going to be half. 12.5, but then you need it in meters, so multiply that by 10 to the minus 2. Don't forget to square it. So that then becomes now the intensity. So this is then 200 divided by parenthesis pi times 12.5 times 10 to the minus 2 squared. And this works out to be an intensity of about 4.07, I guess, times 10 to the third. All right, times 10 to the third. And that's watts per meter squared. All right, so that's the intensity. Okay, and then it says letter B, what is the peak electric field strength? So electric field is related to intensity via the formula over here on the right-hand side, right? So let's just now throw that on in. So we're just going to move that onto the side. That's letter A. Letter B here is going to be that the intensity here is going to be equal to the speed of light multiplied by the uh, permittivity of free space multiplied by the electric field strength squared divided by 2. Find that electric field strength starts moving some stuff around, bring the 2 on over, bring the this stuff on down, right? Boom, 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 boom. And then all we gotta do is square root both sides to get rid of the square. And we're just going to erase that. And look, there it is. And we erase part of the E. But that's the formula. That's how simple it is, okay? Square root now of two times the intensity of 4.07 times 10 to the third, all divided by then speed of light, which is three times 10 to the eight, multiplied by the permittivity 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12th, and that's all we now need. So let's do it. So square root of then two times 4.07, I'll use that exact answer. So two times the exact answer, then divided by now parenthesis three times 10 to the eight times 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12th. And we get an answer here of about 1.75 times 10 to the third. And that's gonna be in volts per meter. So that takes care of letter B. And now letter C, let's see what we got here. Find the peak magnetic field strength. Okay, so we're gonna take the easy route here. Electric field over magnetic field is equal to the speed of light. To find the magnetic field, just cross multiply. And now we take that electric field we just found 1.75 times 10 to the third, divided by the speed of light, three times 10 to the eight. That's equal to B. So let's just take that value, divided by three times 10 to the eight. And it's going to be 5.84, so 5.84 times 10 to the minus 6, and that's magnetic field strength. That's in Tesla, okay? Letter, letter D, where am I? Letter D, how long? Oh, great. Uh, will it take to increase the temperature? Here's the mass of the shoulder. This is the change in temperature. Here's a specific heat, so we go way back, right? So this is letter D. We need the heat transfer formula. That... Um, Okay, so we're going to take now, how long will it take? Okay, so here we have the amount of energy it's gonna take. Here is given by mc delta t. So why don't we find the amount of energy it's gonna take? So the mass of the shoulder is four kilograms specific heat they told us is going to be 3.47 times 10 to the third. And the change in temperature there was two degrees Celsius, right? You don't need to convert to Kelvin because the difference in Celsius is the same as the difference in Kelvin. So four times 3.47 times 10 to the third, multiplied then by two. So here it is. So this is 27,760 uh, joules of energy is gonna be needed to raise the temperature of that shoulder. Um, but we know that the power that's being supplied is gonna be uh, essentially 200 watts, right? So now the question is, if remember 200 watts, 200 watts is the same thing as 200 joules every single second, okay? So uh, what we need to do now is we need to basically just do a quick conversion, all right? 
So if I want to find my time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the 27,760 joules. That looks like a G. 760 joules. Multiply it by then joules on the bottom, seconds on the top, 200 joules per second. That's the power. Notice the joules cancel, leaving us with time. So we just take that answer that we just got and divide it by 200. We come up with an answer about 139 seconds. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. I hope this helps. We're running through these problems because I don't know who's going to be asking them. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Be well.